everyone, and welcome back to Forever Stranded. I'm here with all my friends. Uh, hey, Wilson. Uh, just kidding. Anyway, um, we've done a thing or two or five or ten. Because we've been here at the house. Oh, I got a market. I never used it. Uh, I put in another fridge because I was running out of space. So now we got more stuff. More stuff for foods. Lots of foods. But uh, not much has changed in here, actually, other than... Uh, that there's just a lot more stuff, but I've made some other changes, so um, you can kind of see through the window. Now let me show you what's going on. Uh, so uh, we've been busy. Uh, remember that cactus wall? Yeah, that's gone. I pretty much tore it all down, and we put in glass, glass from the smeltery because I have so much sand. Why not make glass? So I, that's what I did. I made a lot of glass. Um, I still got quite a bit in there. <laughs> But anyway, we also put in airlock doors uh, that we took from the ship. So we can just walk over here and go boop. And we're outside. We've got a button on the outside to get back in. We've got a uh, spider rail so they can't come up and over there. Uh, but I kept this little um, this little thing, at least for now, just because I want a clear path to the villager. Um, you know, I want the zombies to have a clear path in to the villager. Uh, so they'll fall down and go boom down there. But anyway, uh, we're about to get inundated, I think, with nighttime here, so i got to be careful. Uh, but, of course, that does mean that occasionally a spider will jump across, but, you know, nothing nothing major. Ooh, there we go. Okay, so uh, what else is going on? What else is going on? We've got a lot of stuff going on. We've expanded this. As you can see, we've made it much, much taller. And part of the reason we did that was because we automated a few things. So, um, from here now... Whoa, 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 whoa. And, uh... We've we've pulled a few more lines of sand down, uh, but anyway. So what's going on is from this chest that collects underneath the. I, I could change that to a regular chest now, but now we've got a item conduit. So when these fall down into here, they get sucked out of the item conduits, and this goes around and around and around and up and over. You can see here. I didn't fill this in yet. I got to do that, and then it goes up. And let me show you what it, what happens after that. I don't know. You might have noticed through the wall. <coughs> so I uh, learned about some of this stuff from some other um, YouTubers. Uh, Stomp the Bean, primarily. And um, System Collapse. Some of this stuff is sort of an automation. Oh, I got some sound mufflers, too, because these guys were so loud. They were getting so loud. We moved uh, barrels over here. These are for uh, dirt production. Lots and lots of dirt production, and what we're doing is we're 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 putting dirt back in the world. We're uh, filling in holes, and we're uh, we're we're gonna green the earth again, uh, at least sort of. So anyway, I've walked past it a few times. So item ducks come up in, and they drop the cactus into these water uh, oak crucibles. Underneath, water is extracted and moved over and directly dumped into these tanks. Same with the uh, with the lava production I got lava going directly from or cobble going directly from a cobblestone generator pop right into these crucibles turned into lava by the magma cubes underneath and lava sucked out into the into these containers that are nearly full I'm gonna have to do something about that then I have water being sucked directly out of here going over and around and up and over here and then dropping water directly into these guys which are above mycelium and then over here we've got a chest full of sand. Sand is popped in as soon as this is witch water. I don't know if you'll see it. It might you might not be able to see it. Which one is full? 70. This one's 87, 89. Here we go. As soon as that's 100% witch water. Boom. Soul sand, soul sand is sucked back out and then uh, the, by the uh, item conduits in the back. Uh, those then roll over here and they're put into this chest here I got another co I had to shut off the cobblestone going directly into my hammer because it was too much so then I have soul sand popping in here we've also got a whole bunch of stuff up in this chest still being dumped in uh, sand cobble etc uh, but what it, what it was the reason is I, I had a cobblestone generator up there feeding directly into here but it was just too much cobblestone I wanted to do other things like uh, sand and dust because it's not all just about cobblestone you need 
You need to have soul sand. You need to have other things. Um, so that's that's the reason. Uh, I, this cobblestone that's in here is just here because I needed space. So uh, I had a. This was a double chest before. So uh, put a bunch of extra cobblestone in here, which will eventually run through the hammer and will will be gravel. So then all I do is I just from here I just go into the crafting station. So I'm into this uh, into this thing here, and then I make the blocks, the compressed blocks, so that I can then put them into the other one. I could automate this, I think. I'm not sure if I could automate this or not, to be honest. I'm not even positive if it's possible. Uh, so I've just been doing it this way. Uh, there's probably a way to make it make it more automated, but I'm not sure. So I just do those, and then I drop them in up here, and uh, let the uh, auto sifter do its thing, and then. Everything is sucked down for more item conduits down below, and I'll show you what's going on down there. Let's see how the mesh is doing. Mesh is okay. I have to do a lot of meshes. It's constant. Uh, so then, it, it was becoming a hassle moving all the stuff out of this chest. It was filling up fast, so instead of that, I'm just having everything pulled out directly and put into another wall over here uh, full of stuff. So uh, once these start to fill up, it'll it'll start filling up b below here more, and I know i got to start getting stuff put together uh, we've got plenty and plenty of stuff happening we've got uh, these over here uh, is just to make more charcoal that I'll feed into the uh, feed into the power production stuff up here these guys I have three sterling generators power and everything uh, and I just put uh, charcoal blocks or coal blocks in and that's just constant power Constant power feed, but I have to do that manually. There's there's a way, I don't know how to do it just yet, but I want to make a tree farm, an automated tree farm to produce automatic power. Just have it just tear tear down trees, feed into sterling generators, and generate power, and then uh, I'll have some more capacitors. I have a huge capacitor bank over here, um, which is also fed by uh, solar panels up above voltaic cells. So this has got tons and tons of power, which I probably need to utilize a little bit right now. Um, yep, yeah, there we go. How about we got 10 buckets of water in that one, so we're still plenty good there. I guess I'll go ahead and do it while I'm here. Let's go ahead and pull this out. My thirst quencher. And we'll pop over here and we'll just fill it up the rest of the way. Now we got 16 buckets of water. And I never have any problem with thirst or temperature anymore unless the power runs out on my, on my, uh, uh, portable temperature regulator. So that's what we've been doing. That's what we've been up to. Um, yeah, so I, I, I left this open up above so I could continue to make this bigger because the water production is uh, is falling behind a little bit. I've done uh, more, from this is a good vantage point, I've done more uh, filling in with cobble. And as you can see, I'm doing uh, the dirt, uh, adding dirt and grass over there. I had to put down some grass seeds outside. Uh, I'm probably not going to connect it to what's inside for now. But I was hoping maybe eventually I'd start getting passive mob spawning out there too. I'm not sure if that's possible or not. So, but anyway, I left this open so that I could add more to the cactus production. Oh, I got slime boots on so I can do that. Anyway, so uh, we got lots of glass to put through. Uh, these here are down there like this because I was opening up underneath the glass part just to make it a little brighter underneath. Just uh, pulling more sand down and uh, putting sand in through the uh, thing. It's sort of a I, I, it's a grind, but I've uh, automated some of the grinds, so it's not quite as much. So we've done some ex some more exploration um, and found a few other of these weird dungeon thingies where things fall down. All the all the sand is falling down, and then there's a tower over here that I don't know if it's worth if it's worth um, messing with or not. So I probably won't mess with it. Um, and oh, this <laughs> this was an experimentation um, with um, I don't have any on me. I got regular arrows on me, but I made some exploding arrows to see. They're just Minecraft arrows, <clears throat> but these things are crazy. And I won't go over the. I don't know. I'll probably have to show you at some point. Um, but the damage that they do is just insane. You know what I could do? Let's uh, pop over to the. Uh, because I hit a couple buildings just to see what it would do. Oh, let me, let me, instead of that, let's find them. Let's find the arrows. What did I do with them? What did I do with them? 
Never mind, I gotta find them somewhere. Uh, glass cutter. Oh. Arrow of splashing. Hmm. What did I do with those? I, I made a whole bunch. I had like 30 of them or 20 something of them left. Oh goodness, come on. Somebody's probably yelling at me. Where, where did I put them? Uh, my <coughs> storage situation. It's really not the greatest, I must say. Um, those are regular arrows. I've got this flint shuriken I haven't even tried. Ah, I'm gonna run out of daylight before I find them. What? Oh, there they are. Right there. Explosive arrows. So, um... Let's just do this. Let's... Oh, yeah, it's gonna be nighttime. I'm gonna have to sleep off the night because I want to show you what happens with these... these explosive arrows. They were so simple to make, too. It's like, um... It was just two two gunpowders and, and, an, and an arrow. And I had plenty of arrows just from killing s skeletons. And I got plenty of gunpowder from sifting, so... It's like, wow, that's just insane. So let's, uh, let's head over to the city. Okay. You're alright. Alright. And, uh, let me... Whoop. Don't do it here by accident. There we go. Oh. Did I see a mob somewhere? I thought, I thought I saw a name tag. Anyway, just for fun, uh, I was trying to see what these things would do. And uh, let's head over here to this building. This building is pretty much in one piece. These arrows are just, uh, they're kind of insane. That's why I had to take them out of my inventory, though, because they were doing too much damage. <laughs> oh, yeah, see, that was, I was too close. <laughs> oh, man, uh, yeah, I was, um, right, okay. Well, that's, uh, that was stupid. Apparently, I was too close to it. That's how much damage they do. <laughs> Holy cow. What the heck was that all about? Uh, hmm. Don't need that. Anyway, that's uh, let me let me fire one a little farther away this time, so you can actually watch it happen. But look at all the damage here. Yeah, it's quite a bit of damage. Oh, maybe it was the oh something weird happened there, and like shot back at me. Crazy. Um. All right, I gotta put this stuff back on. There we go. Um, yeah, okay. All right, let's uh, fire at that building, <laughs> shall we? From over here. It does a heck of a job. Uh, they, they really explode things. So yeah, that, that did a heck of a job right there. But anyway, uh, it was fun just kind of, you know for no reason. Exploding things. <laughs> I feel like a Mythbuster. No, just kidding. They were doing it for science. Science! Explosions! I'm gonna pick up some stuff because it's getting laggy because of all the entities. But, yeah. that that That's why I stopped using them because I, I couldn't use them effectively, you know, against mobs because they would just explode things too much and kill me. <laughs> it's like holy cow. But anyway, it's it was worth it was worth checking out. Uh, let me uh, throw down some torches. I'm trying trying desperately to and it's not possible to completely stop mobs from spawning over here. Uh, but, you know, at least if I can uh, get them to cut a little less and uh, when I'm over here I, it's not so bad maybe oh, side torch oh gosh triggered triggered side torches anyway I've tried I've tried to uh, cut down on the spawns over here it's sorta possible ish but you know it's kind of tough because there's too many areas to cover and too many uh, not enough torches so yeah I've used a lot of torches over here because uh, I had a lot of co charcoal, so it wasn't a big deal. But you know, 
Anyway, so that's where we're at. Um, not much else happening, really. I really need to um, put that. I need to put that back in there so I don't have any wandering people. Um, I've picked up some of the uh, some of the other stuff from the smelt. One of the other smelteries in here, uh, but otherwise I just left most of it alone. Still, there's just not enough reason to, to be honest. There's not enough reason to bother. Okay. Come on, game. Catch up. There's not enough reason to bother, uh, for the most part. Um, so, you know, I just left most of the rest of it there for now. Uh, we have some dirt on me, don't we? Yeah, I got five. I'll put them, might as well put them out. So, yeah. Oh, and I made another trap over here for, um, zombies and whatnot. They, they seem to, seem to, um, zone in on the, the villager over there, or me. I'm not sure which. And they just come in here and drop down and I get a few more a few more uh, zombie flesh things that I can turn into dirt that's what most of my dirt production is just from the uh, the rotten flesh that I get from zombie drops so I just uh, keep throwing dirt in there from that and oops let's see let's see what we got right now probably not much I it out not that long ago yeah we got an arrow Oh, I need to get rid of those explosive arrows before I explode myself again by accident. So that's why I uh, just pick up some... I'm sure there's a way to automate this too, but I'm um, not sure how. There's probably a way. I know there's a lot more I can do in this game, and there's a lot more stuff I can uh, work toward. Uh, but for now, uh, this is where I'm at. i kind of kind of just plugging away again, and kind of stuck down to a... A point where I'm just grinding stuff, but I do have a lot of stuff I'm producing, you know, as far as the materials go. So eventually, I'll be able to start using some heavy-duty materials and uh, getting something going. Maybe the rocketry thing, and just get this thing over with. Uh, no, I'm, I'm having my, I'm having fun. What can I say? I don't know. I don't know why, but I'm having fun with this uh, for some reason. But I saw something that was strange. Is that a death? It was a death. Oh, I died down there. I don't remember why. Don't remember why. Yeah, we got a few things in here, too. There we go. So I just uh, collect that once in a while. We throw some dirt together. And, uh, oops. And we'll uh, slowly turn the world green again. Maybe. Yeah. So, what do you think? Any uh, suggestions? Uh, stuff you'd like to see me do uh, as far as mod packs go? Uh, uh, or uh, items uh, related to... Oh, and let's get rid of those exploding arrows before I have a problem. Where's my uh, main pack of arrows? Was it over there? I think it was one of these. No, I had 64 somewhere. Uh, I really need to organize a little better. Well, there's, um, there's 64. And we'll get rid of the exploders, because those are going to be tough. Let's, um, can I get rid of, oh, no, most of that junk is, but anyway, I got a lot of junk. So, I made these two bags of holding, but I forget to use them half the time. Anywho, uh, so, anything else you'd like me to see do on this? Uh, there are still a lot of items I haven't even started to look into. Uh, I should probably expand the base a bit, and we're definitely going to turn the world green again. That's a sort of a goal, but um, probably have to do, you know, production toward, you know, like, I, I don't know. There's uh, there's all kinds of crazy stuff I can do. I can make a mob. I was thought about making a mob farm so I could automate some things a little bit. We got bees. I haven't touched bees. I don't know if I want to do bees or not. Um... There's guns in here? Oh, I think I can make turrets, too. Uh, yeah, I can make these turrets, too, uh, to, to fight mobs. and Maybe I can do something like that. I don't know, just for the heck of it, over at the city. I can make some turrets to uh, kill the mobs. I don't know what for. Uh, but, you know, just for the heck of it. Seems like there's a storm nearby, but uh, my weather deflector is deflecting most of it, if I'm close by the house. 
I can still get, you know, like a whole stack of cobble off of that, even though it's feeding constantly. Ah. A little bit laggy. I don't know if it's because all the entities I dropped or what. Uh, but anyway, so there we go. Uh, I think that's a good, uh, a good place to stop. So thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. If you have any suggestions, throw them down in the comments below. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.